good morning. It's lovely to be with you this morning. Um, we are starting something new, um, hoping that it will resonate with, with people as, as it has with us, because we are living in difficult times and we want to spend some times on Tuesdays to come together with, with God's people to bring to God our prayers, uh, praying for, for the needs, our needs and the needs of the world, praying for the challenges uh, that we face. Because we, we know that everything is possible through God. And we humble ourselves before the throne of grace uh, to ask uh, God to lead us. And I, as I was preparing to do this session and enter into a time of prayer with you, I was struck by what David writes in, in Chronicles, in Chronicles chapter 29. You know, he has been commissioned by God to, to, to build a temple. And he has requested people to bring different donations so that um, the temple for the Lord could be constructed. And David is just amazed by how God's people have responded uh, to this appeal. And he come before God, humbling himself and giving glory to God. What I like about David, he helps us to understand who God is and how we can give a glory and honor to God. Listen to what he says as you pray before God. He say, praise be to you, O Lord, God of our father Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. Yours, O God, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O oh Lord, is the kingdom. You are exalted as head over all. Wealth and honor comes from you. You are the ruler of all things. In your hands are strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all. Now, O oh God, we give you thanks and we praise your glorious name. Is that not beautiful? Because as we, as we come before God this morning, we, we know that we, we come to the God who is the Father, not only of Israel, but our Father. We know that God's reign is from everlasting to everlasting. We know that all the greatness and all the power and all the glory, the majesty and the splendor belongs to him. And we know that the kingdom, God is exalted. He is head over all, over everything that we see and that we understand. And not only that, we, 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 are, we are told here that God rules over all things that his reign extend beyond what we can see. We know that in the hands of God lies strength and power to exalt and to give strength to all. And he says, because we have seen these things in you, what stops us from giving thanks to you, Father? Because we know that you are in control, you are in charge, you hold everything in your hand. The hand of the God who loves, the God who cares, the God who is compassionate, the God who does not stand far from us, the God who is with us, God who keeps us company. The God who understands our plight. God who is not outside the challenges that we are facing. God walks each and every step of the way with us. 
And we rejoice in knowing that our Father, our Father is with us. He is holding us. He is allowing his blessings to be poured abundantly in our lives. So as we, as we come before God in prayer, I will invite you to um, share prayers that you might have and prayers that you want us to lift before God, prayers that are in your heart as you reflect at your own life, at the lives of people that you love, that we will bring these prayers to God into the throne of God. I, I like what, um, what is written in the book of Revelation about this time of prayer. You will remember that uh, John is banished to the island of, of Patmos. And as he's at the island, he has been allowed to, to see um, a different visions. And, and God has opened the mysteries of the kingdom to John. And um, one of those that, that has a very special uh, place in my heart, it's in chapter 8. Um, he, uh, this, is, uh, this is what uh, chapter 8 uh, says. When he opened the seventh uh, seal, there was a silence in heaven for about half an hour. And I saw the seven angels who stand before God, and to them were given seven trumpets. Another angel who had a golden sense, I came and stood at the altar. He was given a much incense to offer with the prayers of all the saints on the golden altar before the throne. The smoke of the incense together with the prayers of the saints went up before God from the angel's hand. Then the angel took the censer, filled it with fire from the altar, and hurled it on the earth. And there came pearls of thunder, rumblings, flashes of lightning, and earthquake. So as we, as we come before God, we, we bring our prayers to him. We, we bring ourselves, we bring our longings, a deep, deep longing for God who loves, a God who cares. Join me as we pray. Father, your reign extend beyond the limits of this life. As we allow our vision to go into the horizon, whatever we are able to lay our eyes on, we see your glory, we see your majesty. We see how much love pours out of your heart for humanity and for the world. We see your grace, we see your kindness. We see your arms, Father, stretched open, longing to embrace us. And we know that the Father loves us deeply. The Father cares for us. And so, Lord, that is why we, we come to the throne with boldness, because we know 
that you have invited us. You have invited us to open our hearts to you with things that, that lie heavily on us, things that trouble us. You have asked us to open our hearts because in doing that, we gain access into your very presence. So, Father, we humble ourselves. We, we confess that we become often very disobedient because we, we have surrendered the authority that you have given to us to the enemy. We wage the struggle against the enemy in our own power. And we forget, Father, that you have said that we, we don't have to do that. We don't have to face the enemy on our own. Because in Jesus Christ, the enemy has already been defeated. We are reminded in John that, by Jesus, that I have told you these things so that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have trouble, but take he heart, because I have already overcome the world. Thank you that you have done this for us. So, Father, we humble ourselves before your throne. We, we pray that you will, you will touch us deeply. Touch us at the very core of our beings. That, Father, you will, in touching us, you will transform our lives so that we, we can see what you see, we can hear what you hear. That our, our minds will be in sync with where you are. That, Father, Although your thoughts are not our thoughts and your ways are not our ways, but Father, that we will be allowed to have a glimpse of how you touch lives and how you want to restore us to yourself. And so, Father, we, we come to you with the needs of the world, the challenges that we face challenges with the coronavirus and how lives have been devastated. And Father, we think of, of people who, who are suffering because of the devastation that has been brought by coronavirus. Sometimes, Father, we don't we don't see the real pain and the struggle of people. But when we begin to listen to the stories of people who have suffered, people who, who are alive to tell the story, we know that, Father, we, we are facing a momentous challenge and the enemy. And so, Father, we lift the people who, who are in hospital because they, they, they have the virus. We, we think of people, Father, who are fighting for their lives in ICUs. People whose lungs are, are beginning to give up. People whose immune system is beginning to weaken, that the body is beginning to lose a battle because, of Father, it has lost all the energy, all the power to fight against the enemy. So, Father, we, we think of them. 
We think of people who are going through this by themselves with no loved ones around them. We think further of how lonely that a path and the road that they are traveling can be. So Father, we bring them before your throne. We, we bring them to, the, to your love. We bring them to your warmth. We bring them to your touch. We, we know, Father, that you are able to reach places that we are not able to reach. You are able to bring comfort in places, Father, where we are desperate and unable to reach. And so, Father, we pray for them. We leave them before your throne. We, we think, Father, of those who are standing right in the front line, waging a, 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 a tough battle. Because, uh, Father, you, you have called them to be health professionals. We, we think of doctors, we think of surgeons, we think of nurses, we think of volunteers. Father, we, we just bring people before your throne who are working hard to flatten the curve. And Father, when we look in the world, and, and especially the various parts of the world, you see how, how people and how people can be uh, people can be careless because they they don't heed um the requests and so lord we we pray for them we we pray for places that um the the curve is not flattened and and place, place pe places where there is a threat of the second wave father we we leave them before your soul we we pray and we ask that in your mercy, you will be gracious to us. You will be able, Father, to, to take um, the, this huge, huge challenge that we are facing away from the world. <coughs> Father, we, we think of the leaders of the world. We, we think of all the efforts in trying um, to bring situations into normal. We, we think, Father, of places who, around the world who are uh, not sure whether to start opening their economy. And then so, Father, that there is just a huge balance between lives and, and the well-being and, and uh, realizing that the economies of the world is suffering. And so, Father, we, we think, we pray for wisdom um, we pray for, for discernment. We pray that, uh, Father, your um, leaders and people, Father, who have the responsibility in one way or the other will, will be people, Father, who are able to seek your direction and your leading and people who, who are very conscious of the needs of your people. And Lord, so as we as we pray for that, we, we think of people who are sick, uh, people who are battling, uh, people who are struggling, the aged. And the aged and people, Father, who have various illnesses that, that make them uh, susceptible to, to the challenges of, of the coronavirus. And so, Father, we, we want to leave them before your throne. We pray for children, Lord. Um, pray for various places where the school sends to you. Father, we, we think of the situations where there is hunger and, and starvation. Um, we, we pray, Father, for the food that is being shared, the food parcels that will go to the right people, that they will lend in the right hands. Um, Father, that we don't take advantage of, of those who don't have by by those who have and so father we we just pray that uh, each and every person will will be conscious that um, the life of 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 our fellow men is linked to our own lives so that as we think of our own lives as we think of of our own provisions father we 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 bring before your throne um, uh, the needs of others and we we share um, with uh, those who don't have. Lord, thank you, for, thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. 
Thank you for your kindness. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I um, just want to share with you um, the two readings as we, as I come to the end of this uh, time of uh, prayer. Uh, it's a reading that uh, that comes uh, from uh, the Epistle of 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 Peter. Epistle of Peter. It's it's written in such a beautiful way and a reassuring way. It's Peter one chapter. Um, chapter 3, it's a reading verse 12. Listen to what it says. It says that for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous. And his ears are attentive to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Well, I, I take a comfort in knowing that um, as we pray, God is listening to us, that he is attentive to our prayer, he understands and, and he is with us as, as, as we pray. And then John 5, John 5 verse 15 says, and if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we ask of him. This is our Heavenly Father who loves us, who cares deeply for us. I pray that as we, as we return to our um, our chores and and our work um, return to the world um, after spending this time in the presence of God. We will be more and more aware that we don't go all by ourselves. That God goes with us. He is with us. And more so that Jesus lives in us. So we, we know that wherever we are, we are constantly accompanied by the Father who loves, the Father who cares deeply for us. Let us bring this time of prayer to a close. Um, Father, we are very grateful that you hear us. You hear us in our, in our needs. You hear us in our struggles. You hear us in our pain. You hear us in our joy. You hear us in times of celebration. You hear us in times of pain. And so, Father, we, we continue to lift the people who are affected deeply by coronavirus. People who have lost their jobs. People who battle who don't know where the next meal is going to come from. People whose businesses are, are battling and struggling because um, this is not an easy time for them people whose relationships are taking a huge, huge uh, beating because this time is so stressful to them. Father, we think of breadwinners who are battling, who don't know how to explain to their children that they don't have a job, but they can't put food on their table. And so, Lord, we, we go into the world, we go in the deep knowledge that you go with us. Thank you for Jesus Christ. Thank you for what he has done for us. Thank you, Father, that you have redeemed us through him. 
So we pray this in his name, the one who loves us, the one who cares for us deeply, the one who is a blessing to us. We pray in his name, now and always. Amen. Friends, it has been a joy spending this time to you. May the Almighty God bless you. Please join me again next week, uh, Tuesday, as we will be praying again. Uh, praying for the needs of the world, uh, praying for our own needs. And if you are able, please um, continue to send uh, your prayer so that when we when we come before God in prayer, we can bring um, with us the prayers that um, you want to offer to God. I pray healing into your lives. I pray restoration in God's name. Amen.